Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, and this is Chica the Chicken. Hello everybody, I'm Chica the Chicken. So guess what Chica? I'm back. It's time for a makeover. Makeover? Are you serious? I can't wait for a makeover. Neither can I. You should look... Yeah. So before we start on her, let's take a look at what needs to be done. So. I'm gonna make this look a little nicer and look how wrinkled and bumpy her her head is. The eyebrows I'm gonna keep. The eyebrows won't change. And yeah, see the bill could be smoothed out. Definitely needs new puppet mechanics because this is very hard to use this puppet. The cupcake we don't need to do anything with because this is brand new. Are you kidding me? Seriously, Chica? Are you kidding me? Really? Matches? So, yeah, and this, the cupcake was always held crooked, so I'm going to fix that. Definitely the hands need to be worked on. So this, this is actually glued on here. See this, yeah, I got some, I got lots to do with this one here. Basically, it's just a, just a smoothing. I can't wait for the makeover. Neither can I. So let's get started, shall we? Let's get Chica off the stage and let's get some work done. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. Alright, so let's start taking Chica apart. Okay, so I just uh, took the sander and I just uh, sanded this down. So I'm going to cover it up. So right now I'm just going to work on smoothing Chica out. Okay, so take a look at Chica's hands. They look horrible. Look at that. This is the cupcake hand. This is where she holds the cupcake. That's why it's slightly curved upwards like that. So, yeah. I'm actually going to give her a plate. The cupcake's going to be on a plate. Cause that is something that she does not have. So that's, that's going to be a new thing. Look at this. Her two fingers right there are glued together. Literally, they are glued together. Hang loose, everybody. Aloha. Okay, so Chica's hands are about where I want them. I think I made this just a little too short by accident, so I'm gonna fix that, don't worry. So yeah, we'll get these covered up. Those are my birds. Okay, so everything's been smoothed down, so we're just going to cover it up. So now let's get everything covered up in paper mache. Okay, so here I have Chica's legs here. So this needs to be smoothed down. Basically just needs smoothing down and the kneecaps. Well yeah, I gotta shake the kneecaps. So let's get sanding. So it's gonna be a lot easier to do this is if I took these off.
Okay, the last about good. Oh yeah, this did not get glued on very good. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get this glued on again and uh, we're gonna get this covered up. All right, so okay, everything's all smoothed out. So now all we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up the legs. Make it nice and smooth. You see the yellow paint underneath? You can actually see that Chica had a makeover. These feet actually used to be yellow, not orange. Okay, it's time for Chica to get a pedicure. So, Look at this. Look how ugly the feet are. See, this, these toes are not even straight. See, look at this, it's just so blocky. Look how off-center this is. This is ridiculous. No way is this acceptable. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut these things off. So now I'm going to reattach the toes and we're going to get everything all covered up. Okay, so let's smooth out the head. Okay, I'm officially worried about her now. Yeah, so see how wrinkly she is? Okay, everybody, and welcome to the garage. So, this this tool right here is gonna be a tool we're gonna to use. This is actually a car sander, but this thing can really smooth down paper mache. It works really good. So I'm using the coarse uh, sandpaper. But yeah, so I'm just gonna use this to smooth down the puppets because it's gonna be a lot quicker, easier and I have a little more control with pressure. So let's start, let's go make some smooth Five Nights at Freddy's puppets.
and another thing, this is a very messy job, very dirty. So I'm wearing safety glasses as well as a face shield. This is important, especially for a messy job like this. Makeover now. I'll tell ya. This thing takes off paper mache in a real hurry. So it's great for shaping and transforming. Okay, so here are Chica's hands right now. So she needs a manicure. A really good manicure. So let's do that. Okay, and then the last bit of detail for the hands, we're gonna glue these back on to the back to make them look more mechanical looking. What they are is just a piece of pipe insulation tube. It's all foam and it peels right off. Then we're gonna cover it up. Alright, so now we're at with Chica's feet, just want to keep this. I want to make sure you can see. We're going to just cover up this ugly spot, so we're just going to cut her some new bottoms here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around it. Well, that actually looks pretty good. You can just look at the outline and just kind of study it and see on how it looks and this is actually this actually looks pretty darn good so this foot here is good it passes all right so here we have them cut out i go ahead put them on okay so i'm going to go ahead and glue them on here and Well, that's what I call an industrial pedicure. Well, that's a drastic transformation. You can do drastic transformations with this machine. I just love, love, love this thing. And thank you, Dad, for donating this work me. This is awesome. Definitely a job you need a face shield for, that's for sure. And safety glasses underneath. And here they are now, so. That's a pretty impressive machine we have set up, so we still have some work to do. Alright, so I'm just going to wrap a little pizza box around the leg just to make it wider or stronger. Additional support, thicker. Oh wow, see this is why you wear gloves. I can't imagine how much this would have hurt. Oh. All right, so now we're ready to cover these up, but holy smokes, holy difference. 
So yeah, we've got some claws on here, and these actually look like feet now, not just ugly chunks of cardboard. They actually also look more feminine too. They really do. They look they look feminine. So Chica's really going to appreciate this. Yeah, she's definitely going to appreciate this. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add Chica's teeth. So here are they, so here they are. Uh, they're in here. Now Chica actually has 10 teeth, but my model here has only eight. Mostly because I can't get any, I just don't have any room for two more. So yeah, so this one only has eight instead of 10. Oh well. So basically what I did is I cut up some cardboard straws and I flattened it. And then you kind of have a realistic looking tooth. A 3D tooth, not a flat one, but it, you know, it looks, it looks nice. So that's what I did. Okay, so I just drew where I'm gonna drill. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill and install the teeth. It's not perfect, but I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it as perfect as I can. And I space this out a little bit. So these are the endoskeleton teeth. So yeah, I'm gonna fix this covered in paper mache, and then Chica's teeth are done. Okay, and guess what? We are going to be giving Chica a gift. The cupcake needs to actually be on a plate, because in the game, the cupcake is on a plate. She does not have a plate. And we're going to be making it with a pizza box. You're welcome, Chica. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the cupcake. It needs to be just big enough so the cupcake is on here. This is what I was going to trace over. Oh yeah, so this is about right here. Using an ordinary pizza box, we shall make Chica a plate. So now I'm gonna cut this out. All right, so now we're just gonna... Oh, well, there we go. Pizza Hut logo, it was a good pizza. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this, is, this right here is going to be the rim here. So we're just gonna have to draw a circle. I'm gonna cut that out. And like that. So this is the, the, the rim of the plate here. Yeah! Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it in paper mache and then it should look like a plate. All right, and now we're back to this mess. But now we are gonna start assembling Chica. Okay, so let's build Chica again and get her all painted. All right, get the feet back on this chicken. All right, so now it is time to start painting Chica, and I got my big jar of yellow paint. 
So, let's get some color on this bird. So I'm just going to quickly show you all of Chica's new features. So as you can see, this is a puppet. Really Chica. Two lighters and a box of matches. Oh, a full book of matches. You know, they may look different on the outside, but they sure are the same on the inside. No doubt. Hey, right, we do this again. All right, so let's go take a look at some of Chica's features. So the cupcake on the plate is a puppet. As you okay, so I just want to show you Chica up close. So I, I actually kind of ironed out her her bib because it was pretty wrinkly. I mean, it's still pretty wrinkled, but yeah. So I just refreshed it a little bit. So I gave it a new coat of white paint because it was starting to yellow a little bit. And uh, yeah, and I just refreshed the letters and I put brand new uh, confetti on it. So she looks awesome. And like I said, this and this cupcake, there's actually a magnet on it. So it keeps it stable. And like I said, this cupcake is a puppet. Be sure to check out the link in the description below to learn how to make this cupcake. I have a tutorial on that. And the feet look a lot better. They don't look like blocks of cardboard anymore. They look like real chicken feet. So yeah, gave her some claws. Yeah, she looks so much smoother. Look at look at her hands. Aren't they nice hands now? They, they look like, and yeah, and still kept this part because it makes them look animatronic-like, kind of robot-like. And now she is holding a plate that she has never had before. So that's cool. And she looks a lot smoother. Wow. And this is even done better. And this is the newest feature, the pull string. And this is her string right here. This is what makes her talk. So I don't have to put my hand under her beak anymore like I used to. It's now a pull string and that is gonna make life 
so much easier. And I do have a video on how, on how to install that to your puppet. Be sure to check it out. Looking good, Chica. Wow. And here she is without the cupcake. I have actually taken the time to level this plate. So it is actually perfectly, well, it is as level and balanced as it gets. So there is no excuse for the cupcake to look crooked anymore. Here you have it, the new Chica. I love it. I'm glad you like it, Chica. Get to me now. Good to see you too, Chica. I actually missed you. Did you? I did. Did you seriously miss me? I seriously missed you. Aww. Welcome back. Well, there you go. Chica's brand new makeover. She looks fantastic, and I hope you think so too. So feel free to share your opinions below. So yeah, I, I, I am absolutely thrilled. This is awesome, definitely worth all the lack of sleep that I got. Well anyway, I hope you enjoyed that makeover. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.